Hello guys, welcome to today's workout. It's gonna be a station workout, so we're gonna do 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. I'm gonna start off with a warm up. You're gonna, then gonna do press ups. You're then gonna do squats. Okay, with the squats, I'm gonna be using kettlebells for a goblet squat. Um, if you haven't got kettlebells, but all you've got is a barbell, then just do a back squat. Um, if you haven't got kettlebells and you've got dumbbells, you can use dumbbells or you can use anything that you sort of find around the house. If you haven't got anything and you're still feeling that you're not strong enough for weight, then body weight air squats is perfectly fine. We then do knees to elbow, then kettlebell swings. So if it's too light, uh, the kettlebell you've got, just do single arm kettlebell swings. If you haven't got a kettlebell, you can sort of use a rucksack or anything around the house. We've got an overhead rear lunge where you can use a dumbbell, a plate, a kettlebell, a large bottle of water, anything you can once again find around the house. If you haven't got any of that, then just do a reverse lunge. Mountain climbers, wide arm press ups, and a side lunge. So, I'll do the warm up for this. I want to give you a demonstration of a sort of typical warm up that I would do and then we'll go into the workout and you can sort of work off that warm up, find what's best for you for future workouts. So starting off first then, I always do a bit of mobility. So we just move the head up and down. Just do one more. Nice and slow, feel a stretch. Then right to left, so shaking your head. Do a couple more. And then rotate the shoulders forwards. Do one more. And backwards. And then three big ones forward, trying to get your biceps touching your ear. Three large ones backwards. And then put your feet about shoulder width apart. A nice big circles with your hips. Just really feel the stretch in your hamstrings as you're going back and then your hip flexors as you go forward and then anti-clockwise. So yeah, and one more, nice big stretch. And then feet together, hands on your knees, just little circles clockwise and then anti-clockwise. And then just onto the balls of your right foot, three clockwise three anti-clockwise rotations. Switch feet, so right, sorry, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Then all you want to do is three squats, thighs breaking at least parallel, nice and controlled. And then we're gonna do three lunges. So one leg, do three. So back straight, shoulders back. Looking forward. Cool, check yourself off there. If you've got any niggles, please let me know. Um, we can discuss it further. Now what I'm going to do is just jogging on the spot. Just gonna, what we're gonna do now is we've done a tiny little bit of mobility. Just see how the body's working. Start to loosen things up. We're now just gonna raise the heart rate, or some people call it a pulse rate to raiser. Okay, so just jogging on the spot. And as we're jogging on the spot, just gentle punches out to the front. Out to the side. Up to the sky. And down to the floor. And just carry on jogging on the spot. Okay, what you do is toe fix to the front. So just lean back slightly and just flick the toes out to the front. And out to the side, out to the front, out to the side, out to the front. Now what you do is just lean forward slightly. So jogging on the spot, lean forward slightly. Just gentle heel flicks to the rear. and jogging on the spot. So with doing this then, 
thinking of the RPE scale, what we're looking to do is go uh, uh, up to about level five, okay, on the RPE scale. Okay, really get the heart rate up um, right at the last minute, but throughout we're just going from one to level five and that should be get us ready for working out. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is knees up. So pump the arms. And just jogging on the spot. Rotate the right arm forward, nice big circles again. Trying to get the bicep touching the ear. Now I'm back. And left arm forwards. And back. Try and get that bicep as close to the ear as possible. Still jogging on the spot. Okay, I'm jogging on the spot. Punching out to the front again, nice and fast. Up to the side. Up to the front. Up to the side. Up to the sky. Cool, and jogging on the spot. Okay, what we'll do is now going into jumping jacks. So you really get your arms up and bring them back down to your side. Go out and jogging on the spot. What we're going to do now is really get the heart rate up. We're going to practice a couple of the exercises and then we're going to some dynamic stretching. So fast feet, sprinting on the spot in three, two, one, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and jogging on the spot. What we're gonna do now, 10 good squats. See it, getting your thighs at least parallel. No need to rush it, four. And just jogging on the spot. What we're going to do is 10 good press ups. You need to do them on your knees and do them on your knees, that's perfectly fine. And jogging on the spot again. So we're going to spin on the spot. Three, two, one, and go. Fast you can. Let's go sprint, sprint, sprint. Sprint, 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 sprint. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, some dynamic stretches. So starting off with the upper body, arms out by the side. All you're gonna do is reach forward and back. Really reach forward, pull the shoulder blades apart. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool, just open up the quads. What you're gonna do is kick your heels. Two, three, push the hips forward. So we're gonna do 10 each side. So keep going, nice and controlled. Really open up the quads and the hip flexors. Cool, next, moving on to the hamstrings. So just hold on to a wall. What you're gonna do is kick up till you feel a bit of mild discomfort in the hamstrings. Once again, in 10 each leg.
Cool, and relax there. So that's the warm up done. Take on some water, and then I'll demonstrate the exercises for you to get ready for the workout.
So that's the workout complete. Three to five rounds, beginners three rounds, intermediates four, and advanced. If you're feeling really fit and strong, go for the five. Okay, but please do not sacrifice quality over quantity. I'd rather you do less rounds with better quality form. If you do go the further rounds and you are struggling slightly, please either drop the weight on some of the exercises or drop to your knees on the press ups. Right, don't injure yourself, please just for some ego lifts, but I know you're all sensible, so you won't. I'm gonna go into a cool down now. So what I normally do is after a workout, um, whether that's running, a pit workout, tabbing, cycling, whatever it is, just give yourself a couple of minutes or a minute. Just let your heart rate, roll, uh, I can't speak. Let your heart rate lower. So if, if I'm running, I'll normally stop and then I'll just do a bit of walking. So in the garage, you could just do wherever you are in the park, just keep, keep the blood flowing. So you're not just stopped and standing still, but you're just letting your heart rate lower naturally, okay? And then we can go into some static stretching. Beginning, we did some dynamic stretching. Okay, so we're going through a range of motion. Now we're gonna go through the static stretching, which is what you normally see, okay? Is where you go into stretch and you hold the position for so many seconds. You've got maintenance and developmental. So maintenance is, if you're happy with your flexibility within that muscle group, or that area, you're gonna hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. If you want to increase the flexibility, we'll go into a developmental stretch where you hold it for about 20 seconds, then extend into the stretch a little bit further, increase the stretch for an extra 10 seconds. So 30 seconds total. If you wanna go even further, you can then hold for 30, 40 seconds and increase the stretch ever so slightly. You can hold the stretch for 60 seconds if you really wanted to, okay? But once you start going over 20, 30 seconds, you're going into a developmental stretch. But 20, 30 seconds, if you do that every day, you're then going to increase your flexibility within that area of muscle group. So, my heart rate's starting to lower now. Hopefully yours is. What you're going to do is I'll show you a few um, stretches that I do for different muscle groups. Um, and then if you have any more questions, please just message me. Uh, there's plenty online, but I'm always more than happy to speak to you. That's what I'm here for, to help you. So send us a message give me a call and we can go through some extra stretches um, on how to increase your flexibility. So starting with the upper body then, we've worked the upper body with the press ups and the kettlebell swings and holding the plates above our heads. So we're just gonna start off with the shoulders. So left arm across the body. You want your right arm either above or below the elbow, not actually on the joint. And all you're gonna do is pull your arm slightly across your body and then what I find helps is if I pull that left arm back ever so slightly it just opens up the stretch. Remember soft knees, okay? No need to have stiff knees, just loose your legs off. Okay, once again, you only ever go into the point of mild discomfort. Stretching shouldn't be painful. Okay, hold that for five, four, three, two, one. And like I said, if you want to increase the flexibility, you can hold it for longer. Once again, Left arm either above or below the joint. Right arm across your body. Full stretch in the shoulder. Soft knees looking forward. And hold that for five, four, three, two, one. And shake off there. Okay, stretching off the triceps then. You've almost probably seen this. Arm up, hand down in between your shoulder blades. Left arm, left hand on your right elbow, push down on your arm slightly, push your elbow back into your hand and you feel a stretch in your tricep. Once again, just to the point of my discomfort. Five, four, three, two, one. Now remember with everything you do, whether that's working out, exercise or stretching, Keep your core ever engaged ever so slightly. It hasn't got to be heavily tense, but helps maintain good posture and good core strength. And hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to stretch off the abdomen now. Okay, so all you do is lay down. Come up onto your forearms. You might feel the stretch there, depending on your flex flexibility. Looking forward, 
And then if you want to increase it, you can come up onto your hands and work your hand back, depending on your flexibility. Okay, you're just going to hold that stretch once again for 10 to 15 seconds. If you want to increase it, hold it for about 20 seconds and then increase the stretch ever so slightly for a further 10 seconds. And then next thing, working our way down the lower body, is your great hamstrings. So you can do the single leg seated. So bending the left leg, back nice and straight, and then you're just sitting into it. Just feel the stretch down your hamstrings, and then if you want to increase it into your calf, let it down stretch. You can then raise your foot off the floor and try and touch your foot with your opposite hand. Or you've got the double hamstring stretch. Feet together, legs nice and straight. All you're going to do is run your hands down the back of your legs. So there's two you can do for the hamstrings. Just depending on how you want to do it. If you can ever reach your toes, don't pull on them, go past them, because all you're going to start doing is just pulling on your nerves. So there's a hamstring stretch. So for my calves, what I like to do is, if you go into the press up position, starting off with the right leg, put your left leg over your right leg, walk your hands back to your right heels on the floor, leg nice and straight, and you feel the stretch in your calf, and you can come back do the same in your left leg. Once again, just walking back so you feel that mild discomfort. <laughs> and then for the quads, I hold on to a wall or a post because sometimes balance. Grab the lazy part of your trainer, keep your knees together. Okay, and then all you're gonna do is just push your hips forward. Push your hips forward. Don't have your heel touching your bum. Push your foot back into your hand slightly. Okay, and it's gonna open up the stretch in your quads. And release there. All you're going to do is switch legs. Always, if you're stretching one side, if you feel tight on one side, always stretch off the other side so you don't start getting imbalances anyway, and it will loosen off both sides. So never just stretch one side, always stretch both sides. Go on, there's some stretches. I hope you enjoy this workout. Hope the warm up and the cool down is really beneficial. Like I said, three to five rounds, depending on what level you think you're at and how hard uh, you want to push yourself. But well done on the academy so far, and I will see you soon.